All right, there are a couple of algebraic things that you really need to be good at to do limits. And one of them is expanding um, binomials, and that's going to be using the binomial theorem. So that's what we're going to go over here really quickly, or as quickly as we can. So if we have x plus y to the n, um, you should know from prior experience that that's the sum from k to 0, uh, k equals 0 to n of n choose k, and then x to the n minus k times y to the k. Um, so when you add up the exponents, you're always going to end up getting n, which is a really useful thing to know. And then uh, n choose k, you might be more familiar with this notation. And that you could find using this formula. Uh, but what's really nice is when you're doing a binomial expansion, you always need um, you know, uh, n choose 0 all the way up to n choose n, which means you can pull those values off of Pascal's triangle. And uh, so here's a couple rows of Pascal's triangle. And you know, you generate a new row by adding the two uh, terms that are above each thing. So the third row, for example, you start with a 1, and then the 3 is 1 plus 2. The next 3 is 2 plus 1, and then the final one you just throw at the end there. Um, all right, so let's do some examples. So the first one is going to be x plus 3 to the fourth. And so I need the fourth row of Pascal's triangle. I know the third one. Uh, I actually know the fourth one, but you probably definitely know the third one. So we generate the fourth one here by doing the adding thing. And now we're ready to go. All right, so we start with 1, which is from Pascal's triangle. And then we're going to go with x to the fourth and then times 3 to the 0. And then plus 4 and x cubed. So that's the degree degree of x is decreasing, so it's 4, then 3, next it'll be 2, then 1, and so on. Um, whereas the degree of 3 is going to increase, so it was 0, now it's 1. Uh, from Pascal's triangle, we get 6. This will be x squared, 3 squared, it'll be 4, and then x to the first, 3 cubed, and then it'll be 1, x to the 0, and 3 to the fourth. And then we can just work that out and multiply everything together. So we get that. All right, let's try another one. So this is example B. Uh, we have x minus 4 cubed, so we need the third row, 1, 3, 3, 1. And what I'm going to do here, you'll see, is uh, so I have 1, and then it'll be x to the third. And now it's going to be negative 4 to the 0. So I'm always using x plus y. So in this case, the uh, plus, it becomes uh, plus negative 4. So 3, and then it'll be x squared, negative 4 to the first, plus 3, x to the first, negative 4 to the second, and then 1, x to the 0, and negative 4 cubed. And then we can work all that out. All right, so hopefully you're seeing the uh, pattern here. It's the exponent of the first thing decreases, the exponent of the second thing increases, and we pull the coefficients from the triangle. Uh, let's take a look at this one. We have 2x plus 1 to the 4th. So pretty much the same. We need the 4th row, 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. And we can do this. So 1 and then the quantity 2x to the 4th. And 1 to the 0 plus 4 quantity 2x cubed. Uh, 1 to the 1st. Really, you can leave out the 1s here uh, just in terms of multiplying. But uh, I always throw them in anyway so that I don't lose the pattern. So you should notice in any term, the um, exponents are going to add up to n, so in this case, to add up to 4. And we keep going. And finally, here we have at quantity 2x to the 0 and 1 to the 4th. And we can simplify this. So it simplifies pretty quickly. All right, so we can have more interesting things. So we can have uh, the quantity x over 2 plus 4 to the 5th. So we need the 5th row. So 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Nice symmetry. And we get this. So we just go through. We, we group the x over 2 and we consider that our first term. Keep pulling off things that we need from the triangle. And we just kind of go through it. So hopefully this is review. I'm in uh, you know, things start looking a little bit differently as we go along, but the basic pattern is always the same. Coefficients from the triangle, the uh, exponent of the first thing is decreasing, of the second thing is increasing, and they always add up to uh, that highest power. 
so we have the 4 to the 5th there. And then this one simplifies down. Uh, you can work that out on your own to uh, basically this. All right, let's, I'm going to do two more, one of which is kind of trivial, uh, and the other of which is this. So uh, here we have the first thing is going to be x squared. The second thing is negative 1 over x, and we are going to the third power, so we need the third row. And let's do that. So first thing cubed, second thing to the 0, and then plus 3, and first thing to the second, second thing to the first, plus 3, and then it'll be first thing to the first, and second thing to the second, and then plus 1, first thing to the 0, and the second thing to the third. And then we can simplify this. This one ends up uh, a little weird looking. Um, but, you know, it's still just binomial expansion. And then finally, this last example, we have uh, the quantity x plus h to the 6. So we really just need the sixth row here. So let's generate that. All right, I'm uh, just going to plow right through this. So you can see pulling coefficients, the uh, degree of the first thing is decreasing, of the second thing is increasing. The exponents are always adding up to 6 in this case. And, I mean, there's really no reason to rewrite this, but I'll do it anyway. And so there we go. And finally, we get h to the 6 is our last term. All right, so uh, that's binomial expansions, and you're going to use it a ton when you're evaluating limits. So I want to make sure everybody was up to speed on it. Good luck.